so what is the way through which we can anticipate or identify that the climate is changing so they've given you a few diagrams look at the first diagram in the first diagram they're talking about the surface temperature so what they are doing is they have put thermometers across the globe and they're checking temperature of different different location and trying to calculate what is the average temperature of the earth on a particular time and when you look at historical data we can easily see that the trend has been of temperature going up okay so since the late 19th century which means from 19th century from this point we can see that the increase in the global temperature average temperature this is a global average why they're using the word average over here it simply means that we have set thermometers in different different locations on the earth and we are taking the average temperature from all of these data okay estimated th from thermometers distributed across the planet and if you look at overall reference so what is happening over here from the pre from 1950 and 1990 the gap this average or this average uh, data and when we compare from 2009 to 2018 we see that the difference is primarily 1.1 degree celsius okay that is the difference between the average temperature that was there between 1960 to 1990 and as compared to 2019 to 2018 i am marking this as star okay this information can get tested in some way in your exam so please remember this now they have also moved forward towards two new diagrams all of these diagrams are there in your book let us go to this diagram first they are talking about the satellite temperature the way we have seen the temperature for the thermometers across the globe we are also capturing the temperature from the satellite and from the satellite temperature also we can see that the trend has been increasing okay so both the satellite and the thermometer information matches now let us come to this next diagram which is the figure 1.2 now what they have done is they have seen that the dis the warming that has happened okay we know that the temperature has increased how has been the warming across the globe so we we see a scale over here and if you if you are between say in the blue range that means the general change has been around less than 1 degree celsius but if you are in this green zone then the on an average temperature change is 1.5 degree celsius it can go up to 2 also but if you're above this yellow above the green zone in the yellow or the red that means the average change in temperature has been very very high that means the warming has happened very high for those reasons region okay so if you look at this diagram what is interestingly interesting to observe over here is that the ocean the ocean normally see we, we see that it is blue okay also the land masses the land masses are primarily green okay which means that on an average the temperature the warming that has happened on the land has been around 1.5 degrees celsius if you go to the top which means the top of the world we see that the uh, towards the poles the change in the temperature has been very very high it is red and either yellow so let us summarize this diagram into few points okay the same diagram we try to refer it over here first of all we don't see uh, that the warming is uniform that means across different parts of the world has got the effect of increase in temperature differently so the uh, uh, water and land when you compare so land has been more warmed okay that is one point when you compare hemisphere northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere the northern hemisphere we can clearly see from this diagram the top part of the Porsche world there has been a major increase in the temperature more warming okay and since we know that 85 percent of the people first of all they live on land which is warmer than the ocean and also 85 percent of them live on the northern hemisphere that means europe american side or part of the india also so obviously they would have faced an increase in temperature okay so if, if you look at this slide the major two points are these two okay the land has been more warm than ocean and the northern hemisphere has been more warm than southern hemisphere this is what you have to understand from the exam perspective okay now the next question that anybody would ask is that what is the authenticity of this data so whatever we have seen from the satellite image in terms of the temperature the uh, the next part which is basically the uh, earth thermometer related temperature all of this has been independently verified 
and the data is available so if you want you can cross check and get yourself uh, verified okay or you can also cross check the data there has been multiple instances or independent verification of this conclusion and all of them have been almost coming come to that same logic so the point which they want to highlight is that the the uh, there has been an increase in the temperature okay of the earth and which tells you that there is a climate change the trend if you read this last time i purposely marked it as uh, red because i wanted to highlight that the trend that we see in terms of the temperature increasing or we we see the uh, spread of the temperature across the globe it all matches it all matches with our record so this has been independently verified okay so till this point when we were talking about the change we were only focusing on the temperature the next section is that we are going to be talking about sea level now why are we talking about sea level because if the temperature is going to increase the the snow the snow caps which are there on the poles ideally they should they should get melt down and it should increase the sea level ideally okay and can we see that in the data so what we have got now we have got two diagrams one is the arctic sea extent and the glacier ice okay so or both the both the diagrams are trying to check what has been the ice level okay and in both the diagram the ice is going down that means the quantity of ice is going down which indirectly tells you that this is happening because of the increase in temperature okay so these two diagram are for that reference okay and because the temperature is increasing the ice is getting melt the sea level this diagram look at we'll come back to the e diagram but this diagram the sea level is increasing this is a very important uh, diagram which matches with the previous two diagrams okay previous two diagrams explicitly focused on that we will we know that the ice caps or the regions which are covered by ice that got reduced and because of which the sea level is increasing okay we'll come to this diagram which is e also now who ocean heated content now what is the logic of this that when we look at the ocean how much heated is the ocean on an average and because of which why are we even concerned about this because when we when water is heated it its density increases so it spreads okay so one of the reason of the increase in the sea level is because the ocean is getting heated now all of both the two points will be coming in the next slide where we are summarizing what is happening with respect to ice and the sea level okay so again going back to the diagram disappearance of ice from the planet is one of the effect that cause that warming has caused same they are connecting it back to the section that we know that the ice has gone down okay and the ground ice on the planet is melting we know that and this can be attributed to the global warming okay if you look at the example so arctic sea arctic ocean so nasa has explicitly highlighted that the arctic sea uh, ice has shrunk by 13.3% per decade okay so that has been the reduction and primary cause of it is the warming which leads to the climate change okay one more connecting point which talks about the increase in the sea level increase in the heating of the ocean okay so this all of this is connecting to the main same point the increase in the temperature the vast majority of the heat trapped by the greenhouse okay now we'll be doing more in more detail what is this greenhouse and all but from the logical standpoint the heat which is coming to the earth it is not going back or we are creating uh, barriers for the heat to move out and because of which the heat is getting trapped on this planet and which is increasing the temperature so 93% of the heat trapped goes into the heating of ocean goes into the heating of ocean and because of which we see that the sea level is rising linearly and the heating has also happened now the word heating the ocean heating is also referred over here as thermal expansion thermal expansion so we see that if you look at this diagram which is diagram number e we see that the thermal expansion is also happening and the ocean heating is also happening so when you heat the water it will spread okay what are the two main reason this is important from the exam perspective both the reasons why do we see an increase in the sea level the first reason is because the ground what grounded ice is melting the south pole north pole is melting and arctic sea is also melting and because of which there is an increase in the increase in the sea water the second is water like most thing expands when it is warm 
this was related to the thermal expansion so both the points are important for you to remember market has star next what is the conclusion why they have shown you so many diagrams okay now all of this data has been verified by multiple sources multiple data sources and evidences are available okay in the uh, report which is the ipcc which is the climate body they have also highlighted that uh, these data are verified and they are correct and virtually there is no uh, dispute that there has been an increase in warming and it is it is impacting us so the overall conclusion is that the climate is currently warming and which is beyond doubt okay so this is where we have reached to a point so we have covered all of these diagrams okay these diagrams and we have also talked about the modern day these diagrams have been discussed over here in this section we also talked about this diagram from the book okay the intergovernment panel of climate change which is ipcc they have also come out with the details so we have come completed till this point in this section okay let us let us like try to move towards the next uh, part where we are going to be looking at few basic questions and then we'll move towards the change that is happening because of the human intervention let us look at this first question they have given you the diagram and from the figure 2 1.2 how what is happening with respect to the distribution of warming so what is happening with respect to that section lands are warmed less no that is incorrect we have we know as a important point tropics are warmed more than the northern hemisphere no northern hemisphere is more warmed than tropics in the southern hemisphere southern hemispheres are warmed more this is also wrong and if you look at the last point this seems to be correct the d point seems to be correct which is also corrected in the diagram okay let us move forward towards the next question which of the following is a key contributor to the rise in the sea level over the past days a past century okay is it because of the increase in the atmospheric carbon dioxide level okay or is it because of reduction in reduction in this is wrong straight away increase in ocean acidity acidity level we are going to be doing as we move ahead but that is this is not one of the key contributor okay what was the key contributor melting of the grounded ice and thermal expansion please don't get confused with that word thermal expansion it simply means that what water when heat getting heated it is expanding okay so the answer is c towards the section which is also verified by the diagram the third question in the series why is warming of the climate uh, described as univocal what is univocal that means everybody is unanimously feeling that there has been the warming of the climate okay and if you look at all the options they are saying it is only supported by only one independent data or only on statistical analysis no it has been supported by many independent data sets and statistical analysis this seems to be more correct this is not based on prediction so straight forward the answer goes to c you can read the solution also over here but we know that it has been verified by multiple parties and there has been a good amount of statistical data analysis also on that 